Hi everyone, this is Marcus Scooter from BlenderScience.com Today with mm, a special tutorial, uh, not specific about Blender, but something that is often discussed and often a problem and nobody really knows an answer how to manage it but now I have an answer um, The topic today is how to bring a Blender file into an Adobe, so a PDF file and this is it's not really it's not really easy to do. Um, we need uh, three programs: Blender, MeshLab. I will post the link later, and of course Adobe and Adobe Pro Editor. Okay, so we open up Blender, and um, delete everything. And uh, so monkey, the monkey, it's just cause of this tutorial, it's just a, a quick tutorial, I won't put a, a, a huge scene um, into this PDF file. And um, as lower your number of object, objects is, at easier, it, it would be easier to put in the PDF file and it also would run faster. Uh, there are some permissions. So we add a modifier, subserve modifier. So it's okay. Just level up the view. And yeah, it's not important um, to it's important to apply because the program we will use now won't accept any blending modifier blender modifiers. So we go to file, export um, to a cola da, uh, so dot da d d a file. We do put it on the desktop and we call it test monkey port. So here we have our. Four. This wasn't right. So I think it's important not to forget. The, um, the day file because the program won't read it then so I'll be stay file it's okay we delete this monkey okay and um, I think we can close our blender file so now we open mesh lab it's a special um, um, 3d converter program some useful um, methods in it to use. So we open up the DE file on our desktop. Here it is. No, it's okay. And here we have our monkey in the room. From exploit from Blender and there are no um, vertices, vertices lost. It's really cool. And so we can add here smooth again. So you see, smooth is also possible. So now it's the important time. The problem always is that um, PDF files or um, Adobe is just able to read um, one special um, format for 3D files. And this file is called a U3D file. And I think MeshLab is the. Is, is the converter, the free converter, the only converter I know, um, which is free. So um, we export and we save. At, go to save as, or so you can save it at the desktop. And we at, which select. Well, we select the U3D file format. Okay, save. Okay, just press OK, it's OK. And then the program is exporting our whole informations. Information? Sorry. It's not done. St now it's done. And here we are. It creates um, yes, a text um, file for. for, for, for for um, source for source code programming 
I don't know, but we just need this monkey U3D file. And so we open up, for example, Microsoft Office. Just to create a, a PDF file by this, because it's easier. So we call it monkey test tut tutorial. Make it big, get unaligned. Okay, but yeah, it's, it's not necessary. So, um, we export it, also save it as um, Adobe PDF. Okay, first we have to save it somewhere. So, now PDF, save. Damn. I want to save it. Save it at the desktop and then we save it. Okay, first you have to save it as a Word document and then as a PDF. My open office is made better, I don't know. So, PDF, desktop, monkey test, tutorial. Save. Hmm. So now it's opened like a PDF. And, um, whoa. I'm still in this Adobe, Adobe Acrop, Acrobat 3D Pro. Um, editor, it's just a test version, just to show you how it works. I think it's not completely free, but I think every one of you should know some ways to get it. So, the top um, file, so we just put it to our side and take the U3D file into here. Okay. So this will no, this is not that. Um, we got have to go to tools. Sorry, um, to multimedia, 3D um, tools. Select this area here, and then we can select the file, and the file is on the desktop. And press OK. I hope this works now. Okay, and here we have it. And now we can turn it around. To show you that it also works in the in the real Adobe Reader, I will post this file later um, and below the video. Cl just click on it, and then we just open it. But Adobe Reader 10, Adobe Reader X. Uh, it's on the desktop. Somewhere. Uh, just to show you how complex um, it can be, um, just to call, so to call example of the Colosseum in Rome to see just to see it's what is possible. Um, not made by myself, but really impressive. But now to my one. Here it is. So. We are also able to move it around, and if um, if you're writing an exam, learn on the exam to write special work for something, and you want to show um, 3D files of mechanical things. I don't know. It's a it's a cool way to do this, and we also can zoom in. Zoom out, change lightnings, and yeah. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. I think she did. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.